um, good morning, afternoon, whatever it is. My name's Jay. I'm a current art student. Um, and I'm gonna give you five actual good tips for sketching shit that I wish I knew. Uh, it's a real specific uh, advice area. Uh, I'm, I'm an expert in this area because um, I'm, I'm a piece of shit that doesn't actually finish anything so we're just gonna we're just gonna get into it. Um, number one, I've read these, these are actual good advice good good pieces of advice because I'm not gonna tell you to just go and practice but number one um, I really thought about this big strokes so with your hand um, this is a, a good video for showing that actually um, I'm talking like move your whole wrist or if possible move your whole arm um, don't be like leaning in real close and just moving the, the top of your hand um, that one's pretty self-explanatory grab a big piece of paper if you need I don't know like a like I'm doing here, it's, it's, it's a huge piece of card that I found. It helps with the flow. Um, that one's boring though, so I'm just going to move on to number two. Uh, number two is use pen or charcoal. I love this one. Or you, um, what do you call it? Perfectionists? Yeah. Um, especially those who, who do like digital drawing and stuff. Grab a, get on tr traditional and, and grab a, a pen. If possible, the biggest, fattest marker you can find. That, that one's always good. Like a, like a Sharpie or, or some shit. Uh, Chuckle is my favorite go-to because well, in this in this video, I'm I'm erasing stuff. Don't if you're gonna use charcoal and you're improving your sketching, don't don't erase. Just charcoal's fun because you can smudge, you can smudge it. Uh, get your um, what do you call it? Forms? No. Whatever shading. Get your shading in. Uh, darks and lights. And it's very flowy. I think it, a charcoal is a more forgiving option rather than pen. Uh, but if you are a digital artist and you are just trying to improve and and loosen up, get um get a pen. Get a pen. You're not you're not allowed charcoal. You have to grab a, a pen. Uh, I'll probably move on to the next one. Uh, number three. Warm up sketches. Uh, those are essential. I've figured out. That's a, a recent one that I've figured out. Um, because, like, have you ever jumped into a drawing or a painting and been, like, just, just infuriated? as soon as you start that's, that's what that's what they're for and if you're improving your sketching then I'm talking like pumping out three sketches in a row like, like you know straight up they don't have to be perfect uh, they will not be perfect actually they're just they're just a warm-up uh, I like to sketch from real life if I'm doing like warm-up sketches or sketching just for fun because I don't have to think too hard if you know what I mean like like I'm not thinking creatively or about proportions that much I'm just doing the the eye flick that's a, that's another thing is you constantly want to be like 
drawing from life you just want to like be flicking between your subject and the paper like constantly it's something you get used to but anyway um yeah i i always do warm-up sketches now or like i'll just have like a piece of paper on my desk that's for that's for pissing about that you know just drawing whatever i want Number four is my favorite because uh, it gives you an excuse to like spend some money uh, buy a sketchbook. Not okay. Not don't spend like heaps of money. Just get unless you got one. Um, and don't you can't use it like you see on YouTube. You know, you watch those like sketchbook tours and they're so cute and they have like painted pages and they use the the little like sticky notes and shit no <clears throat> no that's that's not what we're doing this well you can have one for that but this if you're improving this is not a pretty book this is for anything and everything i like an a5 size because i can take it around easy um and especially if you're a digital artist i mean really into digital lately so that's why I I know this one it's hard to get used to and you at first you kind of have to force yourself to draw in it to want to draw so like you have to set okay okay I'm gonna draw three three drawings a day doesn't matter what they are uh, and you can't worry about what they look like. Um, eventually it'll become habit and this was the biggest game changer for me. I'm pretty like shit with my sketchbook though. I, I put everything in it so you know notes, work notes, school notes and then I'll just like draw over it later. I don't paint in mine like you see on YouTube. I, I don't have it's just a lot of work, especially if you're carrying it around. I have like two highlighters and a pen. That's, that's what I use. I like highlighters because I use them to sketch and they're very light and you go over them and it's not much of an issue. And then I go over it with a pen. That's, that's what I use in my sketchbook. And it's worth it. The fifth, fifth and final tip is let go of aesthetics. Sorry, uh, I know this one. That's kind of how I, when I first learned to draw properly, I was, uh, you know, you you don't want people to to judge you to think your work is shit, of course. So, especially if like people are around, you want to fix it up as quick as you can but it's not it's not how you learn um, for example if you're drawing a face don't don't adjust it for aesthetics uh, don't try and make it pretty every drawing goes through a phase where it looks like it was just put through a blender uh, mine looks like that for at least 70% of the time and I'm okay with that now I, I am confident and my ability and it's a little it's a little something called trust the process because sometimes you you go through all the work and it looks like shit but um, a lot of the time it's, it's not it's not actually the case the more you pump out the better the chances you're you're gonna like it that's kind of how it works so you can't you can't get nitty gritty and want it to look beautiful especially right after you started that's that's some harsh shit to put on yourself really anyone can get good at drawing it's it's not a hard thing it's a discipline thing there's yeah there's practice but it's more how you how you practice 
know. So this is maybe this is a step by step on how you practice. Maybe I contradicted myself in saying I would tell you to just go practice. I I, I think it's good advice. Like I I probably needed to hear it. I love having sketchbooks as well. It's my favorite thing. Go go actually draw on it. Make it easy. Anyway, um, that's that's about it. Thanks for hanging around. Thanks for my mates who were the subjects <laughs> of these drawings. This is for an assignment. Uh, cheers for watching. I'm gonna put the the final drawings at the end. Uh, say hi if anyone's watching this in the comments. Cheers.